Hey, Larkin Rose here, and I'm just going to do this quick video about two phenomenons having to do with human psychology. They have no connection to current events or politics in any way, shape, or form. I'm just bringing them up coincidentally. Number one, when someone has something to lose, like a lot to lose, they are not nearly as likely to stand up against injustice or lies or things of that nature. So, for example, if you see some highly credentialed, highly respected yada 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 and you hear his opinion, keep in mind that, well, maybe his opinion is worth more because presumably he knows more, or maybe his opinion is worth less because he's exactly the type of person who isn't going to stand up and say the wrong thing and risk his career and his income and his reputation and his license and all that fun stuff that he's become accustomed to enjoying because after all people get used to their uh, level of lifestyle and doing something that might risk that is not something most people want to do which is why most revolutions are fought by a bunch of poor angry people with nothing to lose. There are exceptions, but that's often the pattern. So, human psychology totally comes into play when you're deciding how much credence to give somebody's opinion. Would they dare to say an opinion that was fundamentally different from what they are saying if it meant risking all those nice things they have in life, all the accolades and all the comfortable income and all the approval of all the people with influence and power, would they come out and say things? I mean, maybe you can even think of examples of people who did do that, who had licenses and careers and a good income from being professionals in some field, but then went against the status quo and dared to come out and say, no, I think this is wrong, and then got silenced or fired or defunded or got their license revoked or got arrested or whatever else. You might be able to think of some examples of that. Hmm. No application to what's going on right now. Trust the science. Second phenomenon. Most people in this country have spent years going through a very deliberate, very specific type of training. And as much as we like to think of ourselves as intellectual and superior on occasion, um, we can be trained the way animals are trained, to have aversion to certain things and to be rewarded for certain things. And so most people have been through a training program where day after day after day after day after day, they were rewarded for doing exactly the following. Listen to an authority figure standing in front of you. Remember what they say. Repeat what they say. Get a reward. You don't get a reward if you don't listen to them or are thinking about something else or challenge them or argue with them or don't believe them. And when they tell you to repeat what they told you, if you say, well, I know what you told me, but I actually think this is closer to the truth, you get punished. You don't get rewarded for looking into it to make sure they're right. There's no incentive to do that. You have every incentive to believe the authority figure lecturing at you and to repeat what they tell you on a test to get a good grade and then a diploma, and then a good career, and then respect and accolades. And, well, that kind of ties into the first thing that I was talking about. So when those people who have been through that training go out into the world, having graduated, and an authority figure says, here is the truth, what do you think those people are likely to do to look into that? or question it, or doubt it, when they've been punished for doing that for all of their lives so far, and rewarded for repeating it as if it must be true. I got a check mark on my piece of paper, 
every time I wrote down whatever the teacher told me was true. I didn't have to look it up. I didn't have to research it. I didn't have to question it. I didn't have to see any conflicting opinions or have any debate about it. I just remembered it and I put it on the test and I got a check and I got a hundred because I'm a good person and I'm smart and I'm educated and informed. And if you don't believe what that person on the TV with no credentials who you don't know and don't know anything about and is paid by giant corporations and the government, if you don't believe what they say, then you're just a conspiracy kook. Trust the science. One science that is greatly overlooked by most people is human psychology. And when you start to understand human psychology, you start to understand why you should never trust people who say, trust the science, because they don't do science. They do propaganda and control.